Welcome to Reflective Fashion Production. It's Fantastic Friday. It's important to have a mental check-in and positive affirmation, and this is my weekly with you. If you're back from our last chat, hey, I hope you're doing fantastic, being fabulous, and staying focused. And if you're not and you're just dropping by, my name is Monica. And today we're going to just reflect on a lot of things that I've learned just throughout this week. I have been um, taking steps to where I am wanting to be mentally, emotionally, physically, and financially healthy. One of the things this week I noticed is that I personally am, I'm, I'm done with pretending to be normal. It sucks because it's just like, some things it's just like, I, I can't control other people and how they feel around me. However, like me controlling how I feel about other people and not wanting to be around them, I feel like if I don't want to be around somebody, I should definitely have that right to have that feeling. And sometimes I think that others may say, oh, well, how you feel? They just ignore how I feel. And I just, I don't think that's okay. So I can't pretend that I'm okay with how you treat me. I can't pretend that I'm okay with, you know, certain things that have happened. I, I can't pretend that anymore. So I decided that I'm going to really just let me be myself and stop pretending. Um, I was actually driving to work this morning and I heard uh, a song. My fa one of my favorite songs on a Silk Sonic album. He was saying, um, you only get what you give, ain't you heard of that? And I was just like, yes, that's so true. You only get what you give. So if you, even though you feel like you're giving all this love out to somebody and they're not, they're not reciprocating, they're not taking it. They're like, wait a minute, I'm just, I'm using her. So if they're using you, but you're keep, you keep giving that out, but then it's somebody else that's helping you build yourself up, but you're lashing out at them, you're getting what you give. And you have to be careful with that because I notice with myself, I'm calling and I'm checking up on people and I'm doing all of this stuff. And I've done that for years for people, but they, they don't return a favor. But then it's like, as soon as they send you a message, you're supposed to just drop everything and then pick up the phone and call them. But you haven't heard from them in months. You guys haven't had any type of conversation, but they expect this from you. And it's just like, dude, no, my mental health is so much more important than what you got going on and, and you mentally or emotionally or verbally abusing me like I don't I don't need any of that because I personally have been abusing myself when it comes to my mental my emotional my physical my you know financially I've been you know just in a whirlwind just within the last couple of years I've just been doing so much and not getting anything done that's so crazy but just within the last two months I've gotten a lot of things taken care of and I just I, I feel a lot better but at the same time I'm still in that mindset of okay well I still got to do this I got to do this I got to like I'm always on the go versus taking care of me and I decided that I'm not going to do that anymore I need to take care of me and I need to have these goals and I might, I need to actually stick with them if I stick with them I will be okay so in the month of January, I decided that I was going to do the 23 day challenge and I did. I found out that I need to have a little bit more respect for myself when it comes to, you know, the people around me. And um, not only that, but I also realized that I am, you know, a person that just wants to give so much, but I have nothing to give. I like, I have nothing else to give anyone. I need to take it all back and give it to myself. <laughs> Like my feelings, my emotions, like I can't give anybody else anything. I need you to give me what I've given you. Like I have to have that and I have to start with myself. So that's one of the things that I have been really just focusing on, just making sure that I'm giving myself that love, that, you know, support. Because I'm a really big believer in if three times you tell them one thing, okay. You tell them again, they still don't 
they're still not supporting you tell them a third time that fourth time is a no-go for me my daughter is 15 years old and this is the first time that i've realized that people play too much especially when it comes to feelings and emotions because you have a whole human being that you're trying to take care of but yet they in their feelings about how you're treating them when it's like dude I'm, I'm trying to take care of this person. I'm trying to take care of me. It's very hard to do that when there's no support on your end and you're just constantly telling me what I should be doing. What do you need to be doing? That's the question. What do you need to be doing? I mean, maybe I am not that person anymore to where it's just like, I just have a one-sided relationships. I can't do that. Because just within the past few weeks, I learned something about myself that is just like, wow, I have somebody really watching me. And they're watching me fall apart versus continue to keep myself together. And I think it's important for me to keep myself together and have goals and stick to those goals and set boundaries and stick to those boundaries versus falling apart. So that's what I've learned this week that I need to focus on me and get me together so I can be fabulous and fantastic. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Drop a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We got a lot of things coming. coming. They're coming and we have them pre-recording. So I'm really excited and I need to get my phone fixed because it's not working. Well, you guys have a fantastic Friday and I'll see you guys soon.